Hello Marvel Heroes fans, today let's talk about Electra. My name is Wilfred and if you like this sort of guide, do check out the link at the description of the video. I've arranged all the guides for you in my own website. All right? um, now Electra as of today is uh, is very strong hero, provided that you have picked the right build and uh, of course the right gear kind of you know, with, go without saying make her even stronger. Uh, on paper, she has quite a lot of options when it comes to build variety. For example, you know this particular video is on her stealth, melee, and bleed build, which, in my opinion, uh, from my experience as well, is the strongest. Um, you could build her up, uh, you know, without the bleed as well. You could, you know, do do without bleed, and the um, because you if you don't want to manage too many hot bar dancing, you can say, well, you know, I, I just want to keep everything in one hot bar. You can do away with some layer and so like you know uh, it's a bit of like dps loss there uh, you could play her as a movement uh, but i can show your numbers in just a bit that it just you know if you play her as uh, compared to melee stealth bleed versus the movement the movement is not just as just not as good uh, you can also play her a little bit of ranged and the um, you know melee is so uh, majority of the power you could pick a range one uh, but uh, that again is is another one notch down from from even the movement build um, that you have. Um, so you know, um, I I wouldn't really advise you. And you know, and if you feel that uh, I know some of you like to have a mix of melee and range uh, just to have some flexibility uh, in in your gameplay. But the reality is this: uh, in this game, a lot of mobs that hurt the heroes are those are range mobs. You know, the the one that keeps shooting at you. Uh, whether you're range or melee or not, uh, you still get shot. So why not pick the stronger power, right? Uh, you could, on paper, build her to uh, to a someone who who, who consumes the mark of death and to you know ditch a power, uh, another power that consumes the mark of death uh, to to make it very exciting. So what 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 do I mean by that is that you could mark the mob as uh, mark for death, something like this, right? So you can mark for death, and you can have a power that uh, consume it, right? So you consume the mark of death, you can reapply again, you can do another power that, that consume it. But the problem is that, um, you know, that there are only a couple of power that can do that, and the sort of like, the there's only one that's strong, the rest are just very average. So again, this sort of build variety is also not really, you know, payoff is not there. And last but not the least, on paper, she can be a hybrid hero because she has a power called the Scream uh, that can apply the mental damage. And you say, whoa, that's good stuff. Uh, I was really excited when I heard about that in, 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 the, in, in the patch note. Uh, but in reality, is that um, if you manage to stun the mob uh, you know, uh, with the uh, irresistible stun, uh, those that are marked for death, which you have a lot of marked for death anyway because that's how you play the Electra, um, it is a 12 second cooldown. Now, 12 seconds never fly for hybrid gear. I don't know what Gazilla is thinking when she, they think about that. It's, it never fly. I would rather have them like the specialization there to say that you know this particular power scream uh, do not apply irresistible uh, kind of like uh, um, uh, stun at all. But you know, a, you know, you can do it quite often with the damage over time, what not to make it more viable. Uh, but it is not. It's one big weak power. <clears throat> That uh, that twelve second cooldown that fail to proc anything on your it, it can't keep hundred percent on your hybrid gear so it's total rubbish there. Uh, so in short, on paper Electra has a lot of build options, but um, from my experience she has one very strong build which is a melee stealth and bleed which I'm going to introduce to you. Um, that you know it, has it be must it be this way that you know uh, some build must be weaker than others i say not because you look at that pool a range build is very awesome as well uh, so i don't know uh, she's one of those heroes like kitty pride or magic that i think gazillion hasn't really quite finished her other design it's just that you know she has one very strong design and you can stick with that or you have some other for fun but it, you know it may not pay off when you play solo now uh, before i head to the cosmic danger room i thought i'd give you a little bit of rotation of uh, how electra plays like so that when you go to the when you see the clip on the cosmic danger room you kind of can relate what i'm doing all right so as for the rotation it's really straightforward uh, when you play electra uh, but it does require a little bit of thinking uh, when you are actually facing the real situation uh, there's a couple of choices you have to make and that's why i i found her really fun and interesting because it's very dynamic uh, reminds me of uh, silo you have to keep on the move and uh, know when to ditch out the maximum damage. Now she has something called the uh, the, the shadow strike. Shadow strike is cool because you know when when she does that, 
and the, uh, it's from afar and you automatically mark the uh, uh, the the boss itself and she has something called the uh, the blossom of death uh, which i think is is, is a psylocke's uh, falling lotus uh, for those who you know play psylocke and that that apply a damage over time as well as bleed so you know that is cool uh she has something called the uh, from the shadow as well uh, from the shadow will then spread this mark so you have a mark there after the uh shadow strike from the shadow here if you have other elite as well uh, it will spread the mark to, to all the elite lab nearby which is great and after that you can then use the uh behind you to consume the whole thing now so this is great stuff uh it consumed the mark but then now you know that the mark is not there uh, what should you do you can reapply the mark manually or you can go stealth uh using this this thing here you know as you go stealth and hit the target it will automatically mark as well why due to this um this uh, passive call sleep in the shadows and and uh, so you know in a rotation point of view uh, just make sure that after you've done the behind you uh, go stealth and then you hit again and you will just automatically apply the mark right and uh, bear in mind that this is an eight second cooldown uh, you should apply the blossom of death every eight seconds so you know don't do it too often because of animation and uh, the other two is four second cooldown so you know um, the shadow strike as well as the from the shadow is four second cooldown the very reason why I, I saw instead of uh, doing the shadow strike and then from the shadow immediately is that I would I would like to spread the um, blossom of death ASAP uh, as soon as possible so as to benefit all the rest of the thing. Uh, I got gear that can you know uh, proc as I as as do uh, stealth. Uh, then you know, the signature is very straightforward. It's just that you know it's invulnerable while doing that. And uh, now you have an option. Uh, you could either a uh, sleep in the shadow, uh, which would give Electra a you know uh, five seconds of uh, stealth and then that goes on really well with the not even the stars now um, signature is never a high dps layer but it has a very high burst so uh, you could use this one to buff this gun this guy it's a lot of heroes this day does that by the way if you play like other heroes newer heroes this day uh, or if you are in a very dangerous situation like danger room uh, because this is invulnerable anyway uh, what i would the propose is that you use the sleep in the shadow for the five second of um, kind of like you know um, invisible thing uh, to apply on the rotation that favor you the most all right so now uh, enough talking so what I really try what it really transpired to is that f3 is the mark for death usually I do it just for one of them like mark of death and then f4 is where I can summon uh, at my binding is where I can summon my chest uh, chest mystic is like a ninja all right so uh, I, I have it hockey to f4 now, uh, what, what is great about this uh, chest is that uh, it, it will also heal you as well. Uh, so that is cool. Uh, and the, uh, I think it will heal too. Uh, sometimes they change stuff like that um, Yeah, of your maximum health. So it's good. Uh, but this guy died quite often. So you just have to resummon him as a man. So this is the only part we need to do the hot bar dancing. All right? So uh, in terms of the rotation, always like, you know, one, two, three, four. And after that, you can go stealth and just go like that. All right. So after that is one. All right. Two. Then you can do the uh, behind you and then stealth again. Then apply. All right. So it's, it's very nice. I mean, uh, then after that, you, you can do the shadow strike again and then do, you know, behind you. And then after that, uh, you know, bleed and uh, make sure that you do a bleed and so on. So, you know, um, so it's very fluid. Uh, you just make sure that uh, you, you, you click all these things on cooldown and the blossom of death, if you can remember, do it every second time you do the shadow strike. But sometimes I get a little bit messed up because of the, um, the rotation you have with the signature. But uh, that's about it really. Um, so now on to the cosmic danger room. So cosmic danger room with uh, Electra on a challenge rating 69. Pretty high, I think. Uh, I would not be able to heal. That is bad news. Good news is that I would have, I think, um, I don't know whether there are any good news or not. Uh, well, anyhow, let's see. Okay, so uh, I need to get to somewhere. Uh, so Electra has a lot of stealth option, uh, which is always very good. All right, and uh, with the stealth, then she can like uh, just buy her time and do stuff. All right. Uh, all right. So that is the signature. Right, and I uh, can summon the chest, uh, which is the. Okay, I can do a stealth as well. Okay, and uh, I mean it's a lot of patient here, of course. You know, playing this Electra is that uh, you have to be patient, and the um, 
so so as to be able to uh, compete certain things. So that's done. Uh, that's one of them. Oh, there's still quite a lot to go. I think uh, this is going to be a quite a rather long fight. Okay, signature. And I let me go stealth. Uh, Divine Conquer, that's fine by me too. Okay, so that is done as well. Very nice. Uh, okay. And yeah, I can just spread the you know thing. Okay, one shot quite a lot of things here. So Electro is very strong uh, in this sort of environment, but you have to be quite careful as well. Oops. <laughs> I went down somewhere. Uh, how about this one? Yeah, take it. So that is done. Uh, get a kick as well. Now it's the uh, anniversary event. Uh, okay, so still. <laughs> wow! See, that wasn't worth it. Uh, seriously, this whole danger room thing is just like, you know, I lost quite a lot of health just to throw a car. <laughs> Shouldn't have done it. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, uh, behind you. Done. So that's done, uh, completed on one. Uh, I've lost quite a fair bit because of the car throwing. Lesson learned, don't throw any cars here if you're playing a stealth hero. Okay, now I have to eliminate certain things. So uh, which shall, shall I go first? Maybe I'll go for the other one first. Uh, so this is guy I need to, let me just uh, survey the, the area. Wow, there's a lot of, but uh, I need to do a signature here as well. Stealth. And uh, let me just, like, I think just uh, eliminate some of these smaller guys first because they, these people hurt the most. Okay. And make sure that you resummon the chest you know, as and when you require. So, oh, there's a box here. All right, just buying some time. And the, uh, where is my Deadpool, huh? It's dead already, man. So, playing a stealth hero is actually quite hard on the um, team up as well. Self, all right, and uh, where's my chest? Okay, chest is there. All right, done. Okay, so that is one done. Uh, I've got another couple of life to go. Uh, that is fine. Another ten more life or nine more actually. Let me just like stealth my way through. That boy is there. I thought um, the cough see him doing anything uh, substantial. Okay, another one, two of them. Uh, let me just uh, dispatch one of them first and signature. Stealth and the uh, behind you. That pulls that. Okay, uh, then uh, let me just speed my time and see what I can do with this man. Uh, chest is there behind you. I don't know what I'm hitting with behind you. Okay. Yeah, so as the that pool is there, I can actually dish out quite a lot of damage. Uh, signature and then stealth and uh, go back in. Ah. <sighs> Miss it behind you. Wow, this thing is uh, just keep generating this thing. Okay, fine. I've got another couple of life. Um, so that is uh, that. Well, that's the rule of the game. Just make sure that uh, you don't bust the uh, survival limit to uh, to that. And the, uh, let me just see. One, two, three. All right. Behind you. Just get rid of one first. Signature. At least like uh, okay done. And the. Uh, Done as well, so two done. And uh, what else do I need to do? Uh, I can advance to the next level. Nice. So I lost one life, and the, uh, now on to the main ape. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use a signature, uh, ultimate. I mean, so uh, wow, double main ape. Have to be careful, man. Wow, let me just get out from here, man. So that is the signature. Uh, that's the ultimate. Uh, do a signature here first. Okay, stealth. Let me get out. Chest. Behind you. Get out. Wow, I can't heal, man. Seriously. This is... Uh, I can't really see. Okay. Get out. Wow, too many, man, really. I don't know whether... Behind you. Get out. Okay, Shadow Strike. The bleed. Signature. Get out. Chest. Okay, stealth. Uh, so now is the time when I can really do a lot of like damage here. My single spender because of the you know, okay shadow strike, uh, whatever it is called. Behind you. Don't give up, man. Never give up. Uh. Okay, I need to spread the. Uh, okay, I need to spread the thing there behind you. Signature. Get out. 
stealth, go back in, behind you, get back out, ah, okay, fine. So lost two lives so far, um, that is fine because I can't heal, uh, and the, uh, okay, call the chest, actually, why do I use the chest when I can't even heal myself, behind you, don't get hit by the sphere, get out, signature, done. So uh, lost three life, and the, uh, I mean that's expected for this sort of uh, scenario because you can't really heal. Uh, but uh, it is rather exciting and fun. So I hope you get an idea how to play this. And the, uh, so these are the two chests now it spawn. Uh, the previous, uh, the previous danger room I've played, it didn't even spawn at all. Um, so I, I hope you've got you've got some idea how she plays like. A little bit of stealth here and there, and uh, why am I picking up XP anyway these days? Uh, a little bit of stealth here and there, and uh, just. You know, be patient, uh, wait for the moment, uh, and then just go in for the kill. So that is how you play Electra. Now, let's get back out and talk a little bit about the build. Onto the build, um, for the melee, bleed, and stealth kind of configuration, it should come as no surprise that a lot of the good power come from the staff and Sai, which is the first three. Uh, for the spender, between the deadliest of all assassins and the uh, Sunset Sukon, Strike. I would strongly recommend the uh, deadliest of all assassins. I've looked. I looked through a number. I can share with you the uh, spreadsheet just a little bit in the clip, you know, bonus clip at the end. Um, this one here a lot harder than the other one. Although this one increased the attack speed against the marked target. As for the layer wise, um, I strongly recommend the um, you know if you want to be a little bit lazy, do not want to manage a lot of like applying the mark. Uh, then Shadow Strike is interesting because you can apply mark to the uh, elite or boss uh, and then you could also use the from the shadow a very nice layer as well to spread the mark uh, don't forget the blossom of death which is the one that has bleed kind of like um, you know power to it now this is my new favorite for me <laughs> and the uh, so use this one uh, the Behind you is the one that is the, is the hardest hitting, by the way. Uh, if you look at all the power that can consume Mark, it's only like a couple of them. Uh, this one is the strongest and um, it consumes Mark. Also, it has an execute um, kind of power to it. So the lower the health of the target, the better this one hits. Uh, but do remember to apply the Mark reapply the mark once you have consumed it uh, to do so just go stealth and then you know hit it with anything because you have this slip in the shadow which is a passive that you have to max up as well i'll uh, give you a lot of very good kind of buff use it on cooldown the five second it'll hit really hard um uh, nothing worth picking from here a lot of this this car powers are just are just ranged power on to hand ninja, this side of the tree is a lot very underwhelming as well, uh, same as the ninja weaponry. Um, the mark for death is the only one that you should consider maxing it up. It gives you a nice kind of like a damage rating, crit hit as well, crit damage rating. So make sure you max this guy and the, uh, you know, do observe the mark. Uh, the, the boss and the elite can be marked, the non-elite can't. And yeah, that's about it really. Um, remember to put some point here so as to give you some kind of passive, uh, kind of uh, defensive stat. But then the flat and dodge, like I always say, is kind of, uh, you know, it's not really that nice uh, compared to defense. So I wouldn't recommend uh, you maxing on this guy, it's a waste. Um, yeah, the flat and dodge. Uh, but, you know, this is a crowd control breaker, so use it when you are, you know, sort of like you, you need help when you're being jailed. Uh, but also remember it restores 100% of your maximum stamina but I doubt you need it because I, I don't think I do so I, I doubt you, you would uh, Silent Scream is the one that's mental power but 12 second cooldown uh, should you stun an enemy uh, so it make it quite rubbish uh, if you're thinking of the hybrid build no, it doesn't work that way minimum is 7 seconds you have to switch because otherwise it's just not um, it's just not maximizing the potential of the hybrid gear uh, this one also very low DPS at my binding. Uh, I can show you numbers later. So one point is fine. Uh, I use the chest, uh, the mystic of chest for the healing. Uh, but just now the, the danger room, I should have used something else because I can't really heal, can I? Uh, you, could add, you could also have two warriors uh, for the chest. Uh, it 
you know, it just add us another kind of tank for you. But do remember to resummon them. Uh, but to resummon them, you must have something that's been marked for death. All right. So that is on the um, on the build. Uh, as for the he hero synergy, uh, make sure that you have things like the end man, which is like a plus one strength. Those are very nice. Uh, cable give you the uh, crit chance. Um, Electra herself, uh, damage versus boss as well as the uh, physical damage, so it's plus five percent against the boss. Nice one. Uh, then uh, Moon Knight for the crit power crit uh, for the uh, physical. Uh, I I picked this one because I do a lot of crafting, so it's just I'm lazy. Uh, you know, four percent crit damage is nice. Uh, Screw Girl, the uh, four percent versus boss and War Machine is plus one fighting. Yay! Uh, a bit of Brutal as well and Winter Soldier plus three. Uh, melee and also bleed. Uh, don't forget the bleed part of it. Uh, as for the Omega system, it really depends on what you feel that you are lacking of. Um, I I I would strongly recommend things like the um like the plus ones. Uh, the, the strength is good. Fighting is good. I picked the Goblin formula as well and I picked other things. But I I was cover this. Whole Omega system into another video uh, because I don't want to repeat the same thing for every single hero guide I that I have. Uh, but yeah, I mean, pay attention to a one that give her the the pass uh, the passive of uh, defense as well uh, melee power buff as well. There's one particular note that does that. All right. As for her gear, um, go for the melee and be the uh, you know that that is probably you you maximize all the potential if you think that way. Um, you know, if you have a high Omega point and so on and so forth, uh, good pets, uh, fixes like this one, uh, you will get to quite a high fighting, uh, 30 or for me. 16 strength is good because it reduces the cost of uh, power. Um, so as for the artifact wise, do check out my guide on the best artifact guide. I mean, I'm sure you can do better than me. Uh, there are a lot of options out there. The uh, nano portion, I like it because it's just the, it's really nice. Um, I, I, I like the plus one to all power, although I doubt Elytra really need that. Um, but you know, it does give you a, quite a lot of like stack, stack damage as well. Um, the, the reason why I use a white suit jacket is because of the, um, the defense rating. Um, I find it quite, you know, because Elytra is uh, dodge the flat hero, so any defense is good. But you could replace this one with uh, any of those nice um, physical kind of uh, artifact, including the Gloria Nicholas. Uh, for a bleed build, um, Sabertooth uh, main is one of the best out there, I think, because of the crit as well. Uh, that's nice. Uh, but it's quite close to the necklace, so either one, if you, have, you can, if you can only, only afford one of them, either one is fine. Hand of Doom, I like it. Um, uh, you could also use Jump the Curse as well. All right, so there are many options nowadays. There's so many. Even the Crossbones, one of the uh, training guys, is also very nice for her as well. Uh, if you get a high roll on the melee, mm, don't really worry about the ranged. As for the uh, medallion wise, because I'm fully committed to the um, to the melee build, so I picked this one. Uh, however, if you want a little bit of flexibility, you could pick something that is like Blue Eye or uh, Green Ripper if you want to do a little bit of range as well. Um, up to you. Um, Relics wise, I actually have two. One is the defense, the other one is the melee. Uh, you know, both are good. Um, I, just to give you some kind of sense to where things are when you use a stack of defense is that, you no, know, you have a 44% damage reduction, but the moment you use a defense one, you get to 48%. Now, 48% is pretty cool uh, because a lot of them come from defense side that is a final mitigation. So, um, do you need two to swap around? Probably not, um, <laughs> because she's quite strong. She can stealth if she take too much damage. But sometimes, you know, um, if you want to test out a little bit, you can use this one. Uh, rune works wise. I use Lady of Sword because she does melee, and you know, it's a very cheap rune, work, rather cheap rune works, and I find it quite effective, so I use it. Um, you could use other rune work as well. I mean, there's another guy called the best uh, rune work guy, so check that out as well. Uh, legendary wise, grade 80 is the axe, grade 70 is the good news. You know, there's really no other options, no hybrid. Um, ring wise, get an ICP ring uh, because she does nothing but physical um, and she does only melee, I think. Um, not really a lot of range, not a big fan of that. So, uh, the ICP range is, is nice. Uh, you, unique wise, I think I, I'm okay with her unique, uh, just that, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm alright with her unique, just this particular one a little bit picky because of the blown dart and thrown blade are not really utilizing, but 
there, there are other options. I, uh, you know, that's fine. I got a plus one fighting on that, so that's fine. I'm keeping it. Uh, the, yeah, I mean, that's it. In terms of the costume rise, uh, get the crit damage rating if you can. Pretty high, huh? By rules. Come to think of it. Um, yeah. Um, I don't think she need an invulnerable kind of like um, core, but it would help if you want to maximize the uptime of your, um, you know, deathiest of all assassins rather than kiting around. Uh, so do that if you feel that um, um, you know uh, if you feel that to help you up the DPS a little bit. All right. Uh, in senior wise, you can you can pay anything really these days. I uh, you know whatever the benefit the full spectrum of your um, rotation is fine. I uh, I it's a legacy decision because after the test center testing, I found that she's a little bit fragile, so I do a little bit health. But uh, you can replace that with the crit damage rating would do as fantastic as ever. So, you know, uh, do that. And that is the pet. All right. So thank you very much for watching. I, I hope that uh, you are convinced that she's a really strong and nice hero to play. For those who are a big fan of Psylocke, she really plays like Psylocke. She's a Psylocke 2.0, exactly. Um, so I have a lot of fun. Uh, but there are other builds as well, options as well. The, those are viable, I would say, most of them. Some of them are viable. Um, just that one of them is strongest, which is the melee, stealth, and bleed. Uh, do drop me a note below and see how you feel about Electra. Are you a fan? And uh, hope this is useful to you. And do check out other videos of my channel. Uh, there's a link at the description below. Link back to my website. Whole lot of guys for you to watch. Goodbye.